fits perfectly between the handlebars. Bicycle. Day number 35. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. We're gonna eat some breakfast here. Pack up, ride out, head toward Newton. Everyday leg day. Dude, you made it look like Mickey Mouse. Did some sink laundry. Boxers are drying. And we got the socks on the dryer. I've been wondering what these stone structures are. If they're silos. Or if anybody knows, please let me know. Because it seems like everyone I have asked so far doesn't really know. Weather is on our side, except for the headwind. It's a hot day. Beautiful fields. We got beautiful blue skies, cows, and fields. And we got a lot of riding to do. It is hot out here today. We got like a 17 mile stretch. Found a very nice water spigot with cool, cool water coming out. So I wet my Shimog Hemog drenched ex officio polyester nylon shirt. And this is going on. It's gonna be evaporating. It'll keep me cool for the next, uh, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes. Ice would be better to shove in the pockets, but I don't got ice. Watering this down with a hose, sink, dipping in a river, does wonders. About three o'clock, we've done 38 miles today. Just stopped by a gas station to take a little snack. Homemade blueberry coffee cake on Arnold Palmer. There's a pretty bad storm system coming. Some of these bananas from the grocery yesterday, ready to go. Ugh, Leo got a friend. Right eye is destroyed. Definitely got some trauma. He was getting it. So sad. This guy got hit by a car. It's such a pretty bird, too. Not a whole lot going on today. It's a little after 7 o'clock. We spent almost six hours in the saddle. A lot of riding. Took a break at a Mennonite church. Had some really nice grass water spigot. We've also seen a lot of cows. It's been a lot of riding today. We're like 69 miles in. Approaching the town of Newton. We got a nice road, not a nice bike lane, but we do have nice bike signs and a nice smooth road. Fits perfectly between the handlebars. We're on our way to an athletic park to camp tonight and hopefully not get bothered. Actually pretty still well formed for being transported by bicycle. This is why you bring a bottle of sriracha sauce. It just makes everything taste better. So this is where we're camping tonight. Camping, AKA throwing mats underneath the awning like homeless people. It's an athletic park, we're in Newton, Kansas. This awning is awesome. It's gonna rain tonight, so we don't even have to throw the tent down. And to make it even better, there's outlets over here. So this is kind of like the green shed that we slept at earlier, but like a hundred times better and bigger. The only problem about this camping spot is we have roaches, but we do have outlets. Score. Hopefully this guy doesn't crawl on my face tonight. Get out of here. Night number 35, we rode 80 miles today. We are in Newton, Kansas, underneath an awning, amphitheater kind of thing at a sports park. We do have outlets. We do have cockroaches. I can hear crickets. I cannot see the stars. I can hear trains, because we're right by a train yard, so there's lots of train horns going to be going off but I've been getting used to all the sounds of cities and animals, so I've been pretty good at sleeping through all that. We're gonna get up in the morning, hit up a coffee shop, hopefully get some Wi-Fi. I can work on some green room stuff. And to head out west, I don't know what our next, next destination is, but still gonna be in Kansas for a couple more days. There is an infrared camera right there, that little red speck right there. That infrared camera is probably but from the city, so the city's gonna be watching us sleep. They know that cyclists come through here all the time and probably don't care. If we get woken up by a police officer, it's probably because we've camped next to a security camera. If you guys are enjoying this content, don't forget to thumb up for good prayers, motivation, and if you have any questions about the bike tour, put it in the comments and I'll answer it as soon as possible. I will talk to you guys in the morning.